our NFL insiders predict Week 5's biggest upsets and fantasy flops and sleepers. Plus, should you buy the Bills or Rams as legit playoff contenders? Which 0-4 team will get its first win? And what's with the AFC South? What's your top upset pick for Week 5? Question mark Matt Bowen, NFL writer, Texans over Chiefs. The script shouldn't change much with quarterback Deshaun Watson, on that Houston game plan. Throw the quick game, use play pass concepts, unfeed the ball to DeAndre Hopkins. And the Texans can move Hopkins to multiple alignments to get the best matchups against the Chiefs secondary. But I'm also looking at Watson's ability to make off-schedule plays. That's key against an aggressive Kansas City defense. Get to the edge of the pocket, extend plays, and attack the middle of the field. Paired with a Houston defensive front that can pressure Alex Smith, I like the Texans at home to knock off the NFL's only undefeated squad. Mike Clay, NFL writer, Seahawks over Rams. This one feels dirty. But the Rams are favored by roughly a field goal. Yes, Los Angeles has been super impressive thus far, but the schedule, Colts, Redskins, 49ers and Cowboys, has been a walk in the park compared to what's on tap. Seattle enters this game one game behind the Rams, but its two losses were on the road in Green Bay and Tennessee. I expect the Rams to return to earth and for Russell Wilson and Seattle's stellar defense to take back control of the NFC West this weekend. Dominique Foxworth, the undefeated senior rider, Carolina over Detroit. These are pretty evenly matched teams. They both have good defenses, and an inconsistent offense. But the potential for Carolina's offense is higher than Detroit's. If Cam Newton and the Panthers can repeat last week's production, They'll win another tight road game. Mina Kimes, senior rider, Packers over Cowboys. Green Bay crushed Chicago despite enduring a slew of injuries, and while the team is still missing a number of pieces, it's feasible that Mike Daniels, arguably their best player on defense, will return after the long break. Aaron Rodgers was mostly unflappable last Thursday behind his makeshift offensive line thanks in part to guard Lane Taylor's impressive play as a stand-in tackle, and should have no problem carving up Dallas' mediocre pass defense. Mike Sando, senior NFL writer, Buccaneers over Patriots. Tampa Bay can win at home against New England on a short week, on the thinking that the Patriots won't have time to make the coaching adjustments their defense clearly needs. Kevin Seifert, national NFL writer, Bills over Bengals. Cincinnati is going to have a tough time getting much going against Buffalo's defense, which is allowing the fewest points per game, 13.5, in the NFL this season. Which surprise 3 to 1 team are you buying as a legit contender for a playoff spot, Rams, Bills, or neither? Bowen, Buffalo. The Rams have generated more national hype due to the quick development of quarterback Jared Goff and the modern-day offense new head coach Sean McVay has installed in Los Angeles. But I like the Bills in this situation due to a much more favorable schedule, and a defense that can close out games. Yes, I'm still buying the Patriots to win the AFC East, but the Bills can pair that defensive team speed with the play of Derrod Taylor to stay in the mix for a wild guard spot. Tom Brady is Tom Brady. Matt Ryan has thrown the same number of touchdown passes as picks. Matthew Stafford is as efficient as ever after signing a record-breaking deal. Here's how every team should feel about its quarterbacks. With a quarter of the season in the books, our NFL Nation reporters examine whether these seven teams are legitimate playoff threats or not. Defense wins championships, the Broncos should know. It's why the Bills are sitting atop the AFC East, while the Patriots look on from 2-2. Two to two. Here's how all 32 teams, and their defenses, stack up. Clay, neither. The Rams have been impressive, but after facing the Colts, Redskins, 49ers and Cowboys defenses, I wonder how the offense will perform against an absurdly tough slate the rest of the way that includes the Jaguars, Giants. Texans, Vikings and Eagles in addition to the Seahawks and Cardinals twice each. The Bills are a fringe team, but it won't be easy fending off New England for the division or fellow wildcard contenders like the Raiders, 
Broncos, Texans, Titans, and Ravens. Foxworth, Buffalo. The Bills handed both the Falcons and the Broncos their only losses of this young season. Those are more impressive wins than the Rams beating the Colts, 49ers and Cowboys. The Rams' offensive improvement deserves the praise we've heaped on it. But, in my experience, a tough defense makes for a more reliable team. And that's what the Bills have. Derod Taylor and the Bills' offense have made the plays that they need to win, but they haven't been great. That's in part because they haven't been able to get LaShawn McCoy on track. If they can figure out how to.